I'm the director of a film called The Shakshuka System. Uh, and she, is, uh, she is the editor. Yeah. Uh, what was it finished? It was finished in uh, August. It was first screen in uh, September last year. And uh, just ask what do you want to what do you know? Do you want me to tell about the film? Yeah, what, what it is? This is a documentary. It's about uh, uh, money and power in Israel. It's about the way the government works with a rich family. In Israel there is uh, 10 or 20 rich families that control really the economic, that control the economies, elite, financially elite families. And they are very powerful. The market is very small. And the movie is concentrated on uh, one family and the deals they do with the government, the offer family. Uh, the film make, made a lot of noise in Israel. It's uh, been no light of work for that. English <laughs> after uh, It made a lot of noise because the, the TV channel that really produced it, at the end, they did channel eight. The docu cable the, it's a cable. It's beyond to the satellite. Documentary channel, small channel. They decided at the end not to show the film because of they got a threatening letter, legal letter from the from the offer family. And although we have uh, completely uh, lawyers back up and we know that there is no problem with the film, you know, we checked every detail that we say, still no uh, TV channel agreed to show it because really they're afraid. That, that's the thing, that's, the, that's what the movie is about. They control a part of the media and the other part are, is their friends and it's very problematic. There are things you cannot, really the film is about money and power but also about things that you cannot make films about, that you cannot speak about in press or in films or in television in Israel. There are things that you cannot speak about. But not really. Just a little bit. Because even though it's a free country and a free press. Because uh, of the structure, because of economy reason, really. But why is it so widely uh, known, this issue? Why isn't it discussed even... It's discussed, but but the way that you discuss it, and uh, it's not that in the film there, are not, there is nothing really new, but the thing to to put it all together and to tell the whole story and to see what happened to a journalist. By the way, the film is a uh, is like doco activism. It's the genre of like Michael Moore, the guy who did it, called Mickey Rosenthal, uh, Israeli journalist, um, and my uh, fight with another. It's in the... Ma? In the dark? In the... Marta. The thing is, is like the media controls, con controlled by these families, because they own some part of the media. Also, uh, like papers and TV channels. And and during the, the making of the film, they, they bought more and more percentage of the main TV channel in Israel, this family. Yes, it, at the beginning they had 10% and when we finished this film it was 50% already and they became very strong in media. So it became even, even harder to show the film and it became even harder for Mickey Rosenthal to, like, to walk in the main channels because, because he did this film and the film shows all the process. I think it's critical but optimistic. It shows that like... It's I think it shows that... Uh, I, I feel that even though the film is, is dealing with... Uh, the problem of uh, media in Israel and money in Israel, the fact is that the film is exist and that things like that happened in Israel. And it's possible. Nothing is happening to me. I'm okay. So I have a lawsuit. So, but it's, I think it's better. I think it's a good uh, image for a country. That it's open. It's democratic. You can... You, yeah, you yes, can... Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You, Could a film like this be made in Egypt? No. No way. No, no way. No exactly, way. Exactly, no way. No way. And that's, that's why it, I, I think it says good things about Israel and not bad. I mean, every place, like money and power, it's a problem in every place. And if also here, everywhere. So uh, it's a good thing that this kind of film can be done. And lots of people came to see it in Israel. It was in the cinema. It was for eight months for a documentary. It's a long time. And it's, uh, it was full of audience and people like, were talking about it. And it, so it... I think every, everywhere, every place have a problems, and this problem, for example, of course, in the state, every country in the world, people with money have power, 
But I think the thing is to, to deal with it, that people will know how it goes and to try to understand how it goes. It will always be like that, but the thing is balance. And, uh, and I think it's, it says good things about Israel that we try to deal with it. And when you, you deal with it, many people come and many people are interested. And even though the offer family really tried to block the film, the truth is that we won. The film was eight months in the cinema. Many people saw it. Every time they try to do something, we just, they, they really work for us. They just make publicity for the film. Yeah, it was and, the best uh, PR, the, this lawsuit, and it was the best PR for the film, yeah, and, actually. And I really think it says good things about Israel, that Israel is uh, struggling, you know. It's a live country, it's a democratic country. It's a country that tries to find its way. He had, the, the he had a very successful program on Channel 2, on the main uh, commercial uh, television sure. Israel, Channel 2. And uh, in the middle of the film, the film, somewhere along the way, they told him that they don't want uh, him to work anymore. They don't want to re uh, to make a new contract. And they say that it's that they didn't say that because of the film, but the program was very successful. He thinks that it's because you can think whatever you want, but it happened because of the, it happened during the film. We don't know why. Suddenly. Let's say the, the program was very successful, they say they don't need it anymore. I don't, I don't know. And what is this offer family involved in? <coughs> Sorry? Oh, offer family involved in many things. I would say only few in Israel. They bought in 99 the Israel company it's called. And they, they really own today most of the Israeli natural uh, resources plants, like uh, Gas. the Dead Sea plants, the uh, refineries in Haifa, uh, and Tim, the largest, the, the shipping company of Israel, and many, many more. This is the main stuff. But and 50% of uh, Channel of Ch Reshet. Channel 2, yeah. part of the Channel 2, like the media of now yeah. of Reshet. Yeah, exactly. Half of Reshet? Yeah, yeah. During the film, During we bought the it. Film, yeah. it, happened. it started from 10%, then it became 30, and now it's already 50 when the film went out. So. Of course, it's a very small business for them, but uh, oh, really? with no, a lot of influence. Powerful, yeah, yeah. A lot of influence. Good for you. Thank you.